What is up, running family? My name is Rizzo from Los Angeles. Top three women go to Paris. Top three men go to Paris. Let's go. What is up, running family? We have arrived in Orlando. It is the US Marathon Trials, the road to Paris. Top three men go to Paris. Top three women go to Paris. There's gonna be amazing events, a lot of shakeout runs. Every shoe company is here. There are gonna be some great parties, as well as the race on Saturday, 10 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Let's go. When I arrived Thursday morning, I went straight to the Tracksmith Run, which was really great because we got a chance to run the course and see what the runners were going to be up against on race day. What is up, running family? We are headed to the Sidious Mag preview show. We just finished the Tracksmith Run and we're gonna go see what the guys have to say about the race coming up on Saturday. Let's go check it out. The race will be underway. The conditions are nice right now. For all the talk that weather dominated uh, in the... Yeah, you know, he's running majors that don't have rabbits, and I think that's a big advantage for him. Yeah, so on her record, I guess... The great thing about these big events is Elite athletes are just hanging out and mingling on the streets. After the show, I checked into my hotel and headed over to the Brooks house, which by far had the best setup of all the shoe companies. Yo, we're in Let's Orlando go. 2024 Marathon Trials. I'm with the one and only Jeremy Miller. Let's go. Look at this. We're at the Brooks High Pass right now. So many people out here. There's a panel that's about to start. We got massages. I got a haircut earlier. Oh, amazing. This is amazing. It's so much fun out here. Yeah. Good to see you, Jeremy. You too, man. All right, man. Uh, I wanted to bring Kara Goucher up to the stage. Welcome, Kara. Hi, everyone. Are you guys excited? hosting a panel so honestly I'm a little nervous and I have notes in my butt pocket just in case. <laughs> Welcome to Linden. Really weird race being so few fans there but it was a great time and great great way to run um, but then getting back to the excitement of Boston uh, I feel like that just sort of took it up another notch and so you know. Thank you guys. Good luck on Saturday. All right, running family, we made it to the Hoka Believe in the Run, Shake Out Run. We just left the Brooks house. Let's go check it out. Thank you. I know there's lots of energy out here. Don't miss the opportunity if they're giving it to you right What's up, Rizzo? What's up? Let's do it. All the way from LA, here in Orlando. Let's go. Let's go. We love a great community that comes together, Track Shack pulling it together with our Hoka family. And of course, tonight, you already know a little bit about the Cielo X1. If you haven't heard yet, I'll just cover the bases real quick. They got some fittings going on over there. You can try them out for the race, grab some flashers. There's a course map available. But we only got five minutes before all the fun, so I'm gonna hand things up. We hope you all have fun tonight. Let's mingle, let's have fun, let's have some running going on. Come so on, everybody. I know. Hey, if you're After the run, it was time to call it a day, as the first day was just simply spectacular at the U.S. Marathon Trials. Oh. 
On Friday, I returned to the Brooks house. There were a few speaking panels, and I was very interested in hearing Keith and Kevin Hansen, as well as Jeremy Miller. We're pleased to have our opportunity right now to show you the third and final uh, edition or episode of that, uh, that behind the scenes. Um, truthfully, I haven't had, we've never come to a trials where I didn't think the group that was there was special. Um, but here, um, we're entering with 13 healthy people. Um, we're not nursing injuries, we're not doing any of that. What's it been like to be inspired by people, get into the sport, and now be that kind of same figurehead and get people into the sport? It's super surreal, for sure. And I think those in-person interactions are the most powerful, and those are always the, the reminders to myself. After the panels, I headed back over across the lake for the Believe in the Run Hoka Sidious Cafe shakeout run. It was good to see some friends and, of course, see my friend Kat, who came in from Los Angeles as well. This is Orlando Marathon Trials. Kat, Alley Roadrunners, G4. 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 After the run and hanging out with friends, it was time to head in for an early morning, which would be race day, the marathon trials. Thank you. 
I eventually made my way to 25.5 and had a chance to see the runners come in. Clay and Young and Connor Mance looked strong and uh, just encouraged them as they went by. Next up, Lenny came by and I told him, see you in Paris. And uh, Cabet was in fourth place and looked pretty good. Uh, CJ had an amazing race and of course, Zach, Got a on, tremendous Zach. race, but came up short. And Galen Rupp, who potentially could be his last marathon trials. Otherwise, it was turning into a very hot day. All the runners coming by were throwing water over their heads. It was just getting uh, more humid and uh, difficult for the runners. Soon after the women came in, Fiona looked really strong. And uh, Emily looked just as strong as well. And it was really great to uh, see Dakota come by. Again, I told her, see you in Paris. Sarah Hall came by and you could tell she was pushing. And uh, McLean had a great race. She doesn't have a coach, 
or a sponsor. And of course, Des Linden and potentially her last marathon trials as well. Otherwise, it was great to encourage the runners as they came in. There was, of course, a pregnant woman, seven months pregnant, running the trials. Thank you, Orlando, for a spectacular weekend. My name is Rizzo from Los Angeles, and these are the U.S. Olympic team trials. Congratulations, runners. See you in Paris.